Hi, I'm Tristan Miller. And I am the director for The People We Keep. And I'm Molly Miller, the writer of The People We Keep. Why are we here? That's a good question. Can you answer it? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> so we're here today to talk to you about The People We Keep <laughs> and to hopefully uh, inspire you to um, contribute a little bit financially to our project. The People We Keep is a feature-length drama um, that we will be producing in full early next year. And what we're doing right now is we are raising funds to make a key scene. Fundraising, if you will. We put the fun in fundraising! <laughs> <laughs> to shoot a key scene in order to shop the picture around to investors and producers, right? Yep. The story, you're probably wondering, what's this movie about? It is about a woman, her name is Anna. Um, she has a friend named David, and they are here in New York City, living their lives, and then they meet this guy named Stephen, who they call Machiavelli, because they meet him reading Machiavelli's The Prince, and it's a cute nickname. And then Anna enters a relationship with him, and then she has to find the balance between keeping a very close friendship with David that she has had for a few years and a new romantic relationship. And we see that progress and she has to find that balance. Now, this story is really cool and important, I think, also because it's not very heteronormative. And why don't you talk about it? Because I'm a straight white man. <laughs> sure. So, David is um, a romantic which means that he is interested in intimate and sexual relationships, but he is not interested in romantic relationships. Okay. So he's not aromantic, he's aromantic. Yes. And Anna, of course, is pansexual, which means that she enjoys relationships with people of any gender. Mm -hmm. Or no gender. This is crucial because they're the main characters of the story, and what we've essentially got is a romance story that is not just your basic guy-girl. That makes it sound like she and David are in a relationship and they're not. <laughs> yep. And this is important because not only does rep representation matter, but it's also important because it almost doesn't in a weird way, factor much into the story and the relationships that, that, that specifically David and Anna have together. Um, it's just part of who they are, and it is mentioned, but it is not the point of the story. The story is not about them coming to grips with those necessarily. It's about finding balance between relationships and friendships, because friendships are very important, and you think that, and want to talk a bit about it. I would say the most important uh, theme in this, in this film is friendship. I think that that's pretty fascinating, uh, and you don't see a lot of films that center around friendships, especially friendships between men and women. This is the antithesis to When Harry Met Sally. Exactly. <laughs> yep. A very good and charming movie, but one I do not agree with. <laughs> While we've been uh, cultivating and... Um, preparing to shoot this film, we've been trying to involve all of our friends that we can and uh, make new friends and really make this a community effort. Mm -hmm. So on that note, we would like to invite all of you, all of our friends, to also help contribute and also be a part of what we're doing mm -hmm. and make this a community that uh, extends beyond the camera so to speak, um, into, into the lives of everyone mm -hmm. who sees this video. Now, we are asking for approximately $2,000, and this is for, and I'm going to lay it out, um, we have to pay a location at which to shoot. Um, so that's incredibly important. We are renting equipment from people, and not only are we renting equipment, we are renting people's time to run the equipment that we are renting. 
all of whom we want to pay a decent enough wage and so forth. So you will be not only contributing to something that's really cool and artistic, but also directly giving money to talented artists and expanding their field, which is a wonderful thing to do. Um, among the crew, we have the excellent Mark Ferguson, who I met on the short film Uncle Gareth, who I am overjoyed that we got him to help us out with this, and we're incredibly grateful for that. So if this story and these themes are something that you find yourself agreeing with, or interested in, please consider donating at the stuff below or above or side to side, or the links. Or all around. Or all around. Or just, you know, text me. You probably have my phone number if you're watching this. Just Venmo me some money. And if these themes do not interest you and you do not agree with them, feel free to share this video with those who might agree with them or be interested in them, or start a discussion about it and share it to in order to further this discussion. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye! <laughs>